with so much going on. You know, Siri was supposed to be a short-term hit. Can, can I give her a hug? This is a blatant effort to intimidate witnesses. You might have missed some pretty important climate news, so I'm here to catch you up. Just a couple weeks ago, scientists from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change gave us a warning that some climate change impacts are now inevitable. In the report, they said extreme sea level events that used to happen once in a hundred years in some parts of the world will strike every year by 2050. And that's even if we cut emissions today. But if we do nothing, it will be much worse, including the possibility that sea level could rise up to 13 feet and drown major cities, harming billions of people. Those were the findings of more than 100 scientists from 36 countries. I spoke to one of them. Earth's oceans and ice are in trouble, and that means we're in trouble too. The projections of sea level rise in this report are worse than the one scientists made five years ago. And that's because ice is melting faster than they expected. And where does that water go? It goes into the ocean eventually. And that's the major contributor now to sea level rise. It seems like the future could be pretty bleak for people living on the coast. I live in Miami. How worried should I be? Uh, you should be very worried. You know, unfortunately, a lot of Miami is built right at sea level. We're very close to it within a few feet. And if sea level rises two, three feet over this uh, century, maybe a foot or two by 2050 even, uh, you're going to have big problems. And as oceans get warmer, they also become uninhabitable for some animals. That means that we will see more loss of marine life, putting at risk the livelihood of people who depend on fisheries for food. So again, some of these impacts are inevitable, but if we do nothing, Correct. it will be much worse. Correct. You said it perfectly. We have a choice. It's always going to get worse until we start reeling in the emissions of the greenhouse gases. But you know that report climate activist Greta Thunberg submitted to Congress? I am submitting this report as my testimony because I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. That was the IPCC report warning of the consequences of letting temperatures rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And scientists published that a year ago. So that was a point where you were telling governments, we still have time. If you do something now, we can avoid further warming. How do you feel about the progress made so far? The progress made in the year since that report came out has not been impressive. It's been mostly that people have woken up all of a sudden, especially young people getting out in the streets. My generation screwed it up. Your generation has to fix it up. And uh, it's too bad it got to that, but I have a lot of confidence that you will. Unfortunately, you can't sit, sit around and talk about it for too long. We need action. So are scientists optimistic? Yes. But their message is clear. We need to end our dependence on fossil fuels. There is still time. I'm fully convinced that if we get our act together, move quickly, we'll have a world which is not only habitable, but a world you'd want to live in, a world you could want your children to live in. But if we just sit here and just say, well, oh, well, e you know, either I don't believe this or it's too expensive to fix or there's nothing I can do about it, none of which is true, uh, we'll just wait too long and then the thing will be out of our control and we'll go into a miserable, hot world where a lot of people are going to suffer and some are going to die.